watching Let's Chat. Since this pandemic broke out a number of weeks ago, a lot of folks have been wearing masks. And if you remember early on, there was a pretty severe shortage of masks, not just here, but all across the country. Now, you could wear a plain, ordinary mask like this, but why would you when there are so many other colorful and more desirable options? like this and a number of others that we'll show you here in just a moment. A lot of folks here in the Tennessee Valley area have been making masks, including this lady right here. Lynn is joining us and she has made a bunch of these things. Um, first of all, Lynn, good morning and thank you for joining us. How did you get into making masks to begin with? Well, good morning, Chip. Uh, when we first were learning about the seriousness of the coronavirus, uh, even before the shutdown, I kept thinking that I would be more comfortable if I had a mask. So mm -hmm. I went online and tried to buy some, and they were nowhere to be found at the time. So I right. thought, well, maybe I'll try to make some. So after some research and several tries, I came up with one that felt good on me. It was comfortable. It was protective, and it was really cute. So I made Hello. one for myself. Oh, sorry. Right. No, go ahead. You made one for yourself. Okay. I made one for myself, my family, friends, and then one day I posted some pictures on my social media of the mask I had made, and I was just mm -hmm. flooded with requests for them. How did you get, now first of all, how many of these masks have you made so far? I've made over a thousand now. I hit over a thousand wow. this weekend. Yeah. 1,000. That's pretty incredible. And uh, first of all, that's a great public service that you're doing. But tell us what makes your masks so special. Well, there's two things uh, that I think are special about my mask. First of all, for a request, I try to make it personal. Something mm -hmm. they like, their favorite color, their favorite team, political party, whatever. It's personal. So it makes a statement for them and reflects their personality and style. Uh, the second is I've worked really hard. They exceed the FDA uh, standards for non-surgical masks with layers of fabric and an antiviral uh, filter uh, between the fabrics. And these are washable and reusable both, correct? Right. Washable, reversible. So. You know, they're very practical. What has been the most popular design that you've been asked for so far? I would say the very patriotic masks are requested the most. Red, uh, white, and blue, the flag red, sort white, of masks? Red, white, and blue. Yeah, I have, have one right here to mm -hmm. show you. And um, then teams are very popular. I've done all the SEC teams, so they're popular, but I do everything from music, superheroes, flowers, just whatever. You even did a, a formal mask, actually a couple of formal masks, correct? I, I did. Uh, this past weekend, a couple had been planning this, their dream wedding for over a year, and it just mm -hmm. wasn't turning out like they expected. So they were going to have to wear masks during the uh, time with family and friends. So they um, asked me to make ones like these. This was for the bride. Mm -hmm. and wow. And <laughs> this one was for the groom. Formal so they, it, face wear. Right. Formal face wear. <laughs> Who would have thought? I, I can promise I never would have thought that. Um, let me ask you this. Obviously, doing a thousand of these masks, <laughs> formal face wear, doing a thousand of these, even if you were doing it on the cheap, has got to be costly. How are you paying for all this? Well, uh, people that sew always have what we call a stash mm -hmm. of fabric that we've collected over our time uh, doing the sewing. And right. I had a nice stash to get started with, having sewn for so long. But mm -hmm. I bought some specialty fabrics for special requests. Well, you've uh, you've made me a couple of these, which I thank you for. A music mask, because everyone knows I like music. Can't play guitar, yeah. so you might as well wear one, correct? And everyone <laughs> that knows me knows I'm a little bit loony, and this is probably my favorite mask ever. 
You have uh, yeah. the Looney Tunes on one side, and on the other side, you have each of the individual Bugs Bunny, Sylvester, uh, Tweety, and all of the rest. So, wow, what a great job. How does someone go about getting one of these masks? They can email me at lensmasks uh, at gmail.com. L-Y-N-N-S masks, M-A-S-K-S -S at gmail.com, correct? Oh, wow. That is what a, correct. Uh, it's certainly been a great public service that you've done. And how many oh, states you. have you mailed these out to? Any idea? Um, I think 26. I counted 26. Wow. How, how much longer are you going to? How much longer are you going to keep making these? Well, it would be nice if tomorrow we didn't have to wear them, but I'll make them as long as they're needed. Wow! Nice job. Nice, nice job. So, I'm here knocking at the door. Is someone knocking at the door? All right. Hang in there. Hang in there for just a second, if you would, um, Lynn. We're going to take a quick break. We're back with more of oh. Let's Chat coming up right after this. Mm -hmm. 